My name is Sam Ibrahim. I am the CEO of the Air Group of Companies. Air Group of Companies is um, basically a group of companies from staffing to research and now getting into the basketball facilities. Uh, operating two countries and 12 states. But my love for basketball dates back to the uh, early 80s. You know, we're talking a long time, a long time. And, and really, like, I mean, I am a Jordan. I am a product of Michael Jordan. You know, I wanted the shoes. I want to be on the Bulls. You know, everything about Michael Jordan. Like, I love Michael Jordan so much, I even like gambling, you know? Like, I mean, I mean, it was, it was, it was a love affair from day one. But you know what? I mean, it's a, basketball is a part of my life. It's a part of my children's life. It's a part of my friends. It's where I find the most peace. And, you know, I love the sport. The hardest kid in the city, guy. All of ours. Playground was something I always wanted to do. So there are some facilities in in Toronto, um, but there are no basketball only uh, facilities. So you know what I always thought, especially again going up in Toronto, go, going up in Scarborough, um, east side of Toronto, there was never a place to play basketball. There was never really a place where you could go there and not have to compete with volleyball and badminton and other sports. And the idea behind the playground is, you know what, a basketball only complex for people who really love basketball and a place where you come in and there's pride, like you walk in and you think it's beautiful. Design here is to be the best of the best. Like whatever we could do, but even the hardwood, you know, the hardwood that was chosen was the best hardwood, even the mural, the padding, everything was as good as we could find. Like the practice courts are gonna be a lot more interactive. You're gonna have a dish, Dr. Dish keeping stats, you're gonna have a dribble machine that um, works on your handles. So you can actually come here alone, especially in the world of social distancing, you can literally come here alone and put in a really, really good basketball workout, get real feedback, and you can improve your game. The culture will live by. And really the, the vision for the playground is to be a stable in our community where people are playing basketball, having fun, um, recreational, um, recreational facility, as well as the culture to be really a place that's inclusive, an environment that, you know what, people are comfortable, communication's open, and just a place to hang out. Just a really just a fun place to hang out. All walks of life. If you know me at all, you know that inclusivity is very important to me. And that's really the number one value of anything I get involved in, and that's inclusiveness. I have tried for the longest time to, to have a facility like this. You know what? And there's been so many barriers, whether it be zoning, whether it be just not the right people, not the right partners. Um, but honestly, since for about the last five years, I've been actively pursuing trying to find a gym, a basketball wing facility. And, and this actually just fell on my lap. It was actually quite, we were quite lucky. Um, and I really, I really believe, I, re I really believe this is the beginning of something really great. Again, it's fitting that playground vibe, right? Bringing the outside, bringing it inside. The inspiration behind the murals was we kind of have a collection of all like the historical, legendary playground courts. And the idea was, you know what? Kind of like honor these legendary playgrounds and bring them all in here. And that's why we call the place the playground, right? This is the playground. This is the best, eh? Like, look how wicked this looks, man.